Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create stem plots in Stata. In order to do so let's begin by loading a data set here that's quite common. It's census 13 and I'm just going to type webview census 13 to load it. And just to give you a quick quick look at the data, it's, uh, it's census data. It captures the demographic qualities of states including birth rate, population and so on. And what I'm going to do today is create stem plots based on population. So let's jump right in using the stem command followed by the variable for which we want the stem plot which is pop and press enter and there you have your stem plot. Now that's just the beginning of what Stata can, can do with stem plots. Um, one thing that's interesting about this data set is it is sorted by region and the regions are northeast, north central, west and south. So let's say that you wanted separate stem plots of population by region, you would actually just put in this command first by region comma sort colon and then repeat stem pop and press enter. And here you see we have in fact produced separate stem plots that are pretty useful. So we have stem plots for the northeast, north central, south, and west. There's a couple more things you can do here that I can show you. Um, of course, in theory, there are unlimited things you can do with, uh, with Stata's uh, code here to create subsets of the data for your stem plots. But let me just show you a few more things. I'm going to create a stem plot for population only for states that have a population greater than um, a million. And as you can see, there are a lot of states that actually uh, don't. They don't reach that population threshold. So let's say that for whatever reason, I'm only interested in states that surpass a million people in population. This is the code that I would enter. I would just add if pop greater than one million. And looking at the stem plot, we can confirm that that's what came out. We no longer have a heading of, of zero over here. So that worked out well. And of course, you know, we can combine and sort. So for example, Let's say that I'm going to create a, a stem plot for population sorted by region and this time I'm interested in only states that had a population greater than 2 million. So again, I was able now to combine that those two things with, uh, with my code here and create the separate stem plots that I needed. Uh, I do encourage you to look around a little bit if you have an opportunity to look at stem plot documentation within Stata if you need even more uh, pinpoint control for the purposes of you know most uh, graduate students and uh, other students and data analysts this kind of stem plot setup here is enough but there are a few more things that you can do to control stem plots more closely within Stata. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.